<clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. I am. Uh, I am excited. One could even say, maybe even a little bit overjoyed. <laughs> So here's the real quick backstory. I recently moved from an apartment in Los Angeles to my own house in Los Angeles. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, thank you. I know. I, I know. Thank you. I'm excited about it too. And moving was chaos, right? Moving is 100% always chaos. Things are getting moved and people are moving things and things are getting misplaced and boxes and things end up in the wrong room and not in my office and in spare bedrooms and upstairs and things like this. And so I finally got into my office. I got everything started, you know, kind of setting up. I'm digging out my mods. I'm digging out my art. I'm setting up my computer. I'm doing the Philips Hue bulb stuff. And I cannot, for the life of me, find a box that I personally packed that is legitimately all of my favorite vape stuff since the beginning of 2018 is in this box. And so this box with all the, I mean, not just mods, you guys, mods, squonkers, mechs, toppers, tanks, drippers, all of it. It was all inside this box and weeks started going by. Weeks started going by and I'm like, don't know where, I don't have any idea where this box is. On a vlog, I'm pretty sure I accused our moving guys of thieving it from me, which was wrong. But that's kind of like how desperate I was to find this box. Well, I am really happy to report I found the box. Yeah. And me being smart Nick, I didn't label the box anything like, hey, Nick, these are like your favorite mods. Maybe keep an eye on this box. No, I just labeled it heavy mods. That's the, that's, look, that's on me. But now that this is here, I, I don't even barely remember what's in it. So let's go through it. Let's just take a quick peek at maybe what has been like all my favorite stuff since 2018. And maybe not even really like, like my favorite, favorite stuff. I don't, we'll see, let's get into it. Oh yeah, I had my Michelle Lynn Altoids Dull Dime box in there. Love this thing. Glad I know where it is now. Oh yeah, that Lazy Vapors Single 21 700 Mechanical Squonker. That's pretty. Uh, missing a juice bottle, that's okay. <laughs> also missing a juice bottle from this guy. This is that uh, Reload Vapor USA Dual 18650 uh, Unregulated Squonker. Uh, if I had a bottle for this guy right here, I'd, I'd just be setting this up right now. I have, I have missed you. That blue USV Arc mod. Yeah, sure, why not? An Inokin Proton mod. You know, I actually did really like this Proton mod when I was using it. Here's something super, super retro-y. This is from, uh, God, 2014, 2015. This is a glass single 18650 mechanical mod. I believe that came from one of my patrons. I think this came from Big Joe. At least I think that one came from Big Joe. Big Joe, did that come from you, man? Oh, this, yes. Asmodus, Luna Squonker. I just freaking love this thing into the ground. I love the button. I love where the bottle is. Single 18650. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> I got a very, uh, very tarnished keen. Looks like a looks like a poop tube. Got a much less tarnished and much more sexy Vapor Rizzo ME1. This is so exciting. I haven't seen these in 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 weeks, in maybe months now. Oh yeah, lots and lots of mech mods, man. One Ronin competition mech mod. Two Ronin competition mech mods. The Vape Workstat MMK mech. This is this is truly and honestly maybe one of my favorite mech mods of all time. It's just such a, uh, it's just such like a retro-y design. I would give my life savings right now for a MMK, a Vape Workstat MMK that was a single 21700 that still had this black Delrin knurling along the sides of it. Man, that's it. That would be my, that would probably be my favorite mech of all time. My favorite mech of all time is an imaginary mech that I made up in my head. Oh yes, the goat, the goat hexome. My one of one freaking goat hexome. This is the only one of these that, that has ever existed or will ever exist. And it's all mine. Oh, yes. Oh, spiffy. Oh, spectacular. My purple Guar Warlocks Hammer. Are you kidding me? Grim Army Guar Warlocks Hammer. This is literally just one of my most prized possessions. Oh, holy shit. This is, uh, this is a Rock Sasa mod. I, I truly and honestly kind of forgot that this even existed, if I'm being honest. I genuinely don't know how I could forget a 
design that cool, but this is a Roxasa mods carved, hand carved, single 18650. It is a DNA 75 in here, which is kind of a bummer, but look, this mod is so cool that I will work easily within the limitations of a DNA 75. I can I can find something to use on this in order to use this device. Go, oh, holy shit. I completely forgot about this. I don't even think I can remember the name of this right now. V-Zone, the V-Zone E-Mask regulated dual 18650 mod. This was like, this was one of my daily bangers for a really, really long time, simply because I just love the way it felt. Just felt so nice in the hand. Holy shit, the V-Zone E-Mask. Got that fucking Bonza Mac, you bloody cunts. Shit, yeah, Bonza Mac. Man, this is, I feel, this is like, damn. Oh yeah, my wake, my Bigfoot. Oh, the USV. Holy crap, well, I don't even remember the name of this. This was the USV something or other. Single 18650 regulated guy. I put my thank you for not smoking sticker on it. This is what I used to use with my K funds constantly. Got that mass mods squonker as well that I've always really liked, except damn it, it's missing a bottle. I'm noticing a theme here in my squonkers. They don't seem to have any bottles. Maybe, maybe that was just a person choice on my end like I'll just pull the bottles out of here you know for safekeeping ensuring that I may lose them and never be able to use these squonkers again oh shit another lazy vapor th it has a bottle it has a bottle this is just one of my favorite mechanical squonkers of all time it's so pretty it's so nice and it is so covered in liquid because smart Nick I left a full bottle in this couldn't be bothered to even empty the bottle before I packed it that is that's some that's some next level that is some top shelf laziness right there oh who made this I don't remember who made this this is a single 18650 freaking stabilized pine cone mod. I'm gonna do my best to get some sort of information in the description around this mod. I don't recall who made it. Does anybody recognize that logo? I know it was made in California, even possibly Los Angeles, California. So, so SoCal Vapors, something Southern California Vapors or something like that. But dude, it's a stabilized pine cone. That is some cool shit. And apparently I left a battery in it too. Woo, good job, Nick. No, oh, my TV. L5 ring. Dang, I used to really love this mech. I'm gonna go ahead and say summer 2017. This was like, this was it. This was my favorite mech at that time. I used it constantly, took it everywhere with me. It, it In retrospect, it is kind of like awkward looking. I don't know, I got weird tastes and things, that's fine. Ah, broadside, broadside Adamarole. Oh, my dreamer, my matte black dreamers in here too. You guys, this is... I am so excited that I know where all of these mods are now. Hey, look at that. Even a Kennedy Roundhouse, number 65. Kennedy Roundhouse. Oh, good Lord. All right, uh, we're gonna have to get into toppers now, of which there are lots. All right, toppers, what do we have? Okay, that's a Kennedy. That's a rig. That is a profile. <gasps> I found my dead goat as well. Got the Turk V2 RDA. Hey, it's the Mike Vapes. Rebirth RDA. Oh, the Matt Serpent. This is the, uh, the Serpent SMM. Man. I still love that RTA. I'm gonna build this RTA. I need to build this, I need to build my blotto. I need to build this. Advocacy has just consumed my life and I, have, I don't even have fun and play with vape stuff anymore, except kind of for right now. So thank you for indulging me. Ah! I got a blue goat. I got a gold recoil. I have a layer cake. This is one that I built and then just uh, never vaped. I just gave up on the, uh, I just gave up completely on the layer cake. Well. Maybe I'll have to give that another shot. Anybody have any thoughts on the layer cake? L let me know down in the comments below because this is a severely neglected atomizer that I never I never built. I, I mean, I never really vaped it. I built it, I vaped it a little, and I kind of was just like, eh, I don't really care about the layer cake, man. And that's wrong. I should have given it a fair shot. Oh, that's a TM24 Pro. That's another recoil. Oh, look, I got an Addy Toonie. He mods K funds and he has been for years and he just randomly sends them out to people sometimes. And this is an Addy Toonie original right here. <gasps> 
The silver play. Oh my gosh, the silver play. So much, so much drama around this RTA. Some people, Jay Hayes, hated it, called it the worst RTA ever. Some people, myself, loved it. Loved the shit out of it. Freaking silver play RTA. Uh, reload vapor. Yeah, R reload vapor, reload RDA. Staple. Sta one of the, hands down, one of my favorite RDAs ever. Recoil, 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 and recoil, and recoil. I guess I have a lot of recoils. Oh, the gear, the gear RTA. You know, I don't know, RTAs, right? I feel like RTAs. Maybe I'm gonna have like an RTA fucking party. I'm gonna build the blotto, I'm gonna build the serpent, I'll build the silver play, I'll rebuild up the gear, and I'll just have like an RTA competition. An another recoil. One more recoil. There's another recoil here too. How many is that? 20 recoils? Oh, this is a goat prototype. Dang. Goat prototype. Yeah, I mean, of course, a goon. Of course, a goon. Goon, Kennedy, recoil, those are like my RDAs. They're my RDAs. They're like my, my yardstick RDAs for measuring the quality of all other RDAs. I mean, kind of. That's not, that's a little bit of an exaggeration, right? Oh yeah, the Hell Beast tank. I actually really liked the Hell Beast tank. This is the Hermetic RDA. Matt, Cully, suck my mod, the little Hermetic. Guess I liked this one a little bit more than I thought since I've been keeping it around for so long, you know, and it's time, I feel like it's time to revisit some of these, you know what I mean? Sometimes, and this is a very first world problem, but sometimes as a YouTube reviewer type of guy, your time that you get to spend with products is just severely limited. The sheer of volume of products is sometimes a little bit too much and you don't get to spend as much time as you would like after, you know, after you review a product. At least that's the way it is for me. I can't speak for any other YouTubers. I can only speak for Grim Grain. Yeah, and I mean, I guess that's kind of it. There's some other weird odds and ends. There's a Twisted Messes deck. There's uh, two more recoil decks. Oh. I forgot that this even existed. This is the Flav 22 RDA. Oh, the Flav 22. I used to love the actual shit out of this thing. All right, I mean, and, and that's really it. There's another recoil deck. There's two more recoil decks. Yeah, not quite done yet. Got that Bonza RDA, you cunts. Cunt, 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 cunt. <laughs> what are you? What are you? Oh, the Gambit. The Gambit RDA. Would you just, would you just look at this? Look at this freaking tiny, adorable little Gambit RDA right there. It's a squonker. It's a little single coil flavor banger. Damn, the Gambit. I got me the Gambit. In fact, I'm gonna put this on the Luna. I think that's how I used to rock this. Oh, there's no build in it. Damn it. Okay, I'm gonna have to build it. It's fine. That's fine. I have to build it. Anyway, that's all. I was just really excited I wanted to share with you guys, take a little trip down memory lane. I know, you know, a lot of these products are, like I said, from 2018, 2019. It's just stuff that I kept around, you know, within reach for a very specific reason. And that specific reason is that I actually really enjoy these products. These are the products that I want to go back to every single time. These are things that I just I just want to come back to them. And it might seem like a bunch of odd choices. I mean, what, the USV Arc? Like, that wasn't a super, super popular device. It was just something I really, really liked using. Anyway, I guess that's uh, I guess that's all I got for today. Oh, the Omen! Oh, I didn't show this! Anybody remember this uh, Omen mech mod? This mech was a monster. It's so huge, but it's only a single 18650. It just happens to be thick AF and therefore really very super, super conductive. What a nice switch on the bottom of this Omen too. All right, that's that's really officially it. And I picked this up and it felt so heavy, I thought for sure there's batteries in here. No, it's there's not a battery in here. It's just heavy as shit. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for joining me, taking a little trip down memory lane. I'm honestly excited to get back into some of this vape gear, set up a few things, you know. I've been in such just a, a really, I don't know, funk. Just a really foul mood since September 11th, 2019. I haven't been able to pull out of this nosedive. And I think taking some time to remember why I'm doing this, to remember how fun it is to be in the hobbyist side of this, how fun it is to just talk shop, 
you know, with other vapors. I honestly just feel like that's a, a really, really important aspect of the community. You know, they say that smoking cessation always works better when you have like counseling or support and things like this. And in my opinion, the vape community is my counseling. The vape community is my support. All right, seriously, that's, I have to clean this up now, but that's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you guys, seriously, so much for watching. And no matter what any crooked politician tells you, I, do I even have a vape in front of me that I can vape? Yeah, unicorn, let's keep on vaping.